This is Ian Lamont. I've been a publisher on Amazon for more than 10 years. Today, how to make a 3D book for your marketing campaigns using Canva. If this video helps, please take a moment to like and subscribe and let's get started. And interestingly, uh, we're not gonna get started on Canva itself, although I do wanna show you what I'm talking about. Like I wanna make a, another 3D book kind of in the same style as this. It's just very simple white background, drop shadow, and the book looks like it's tilting to the side. Maybe there's other types of books that you can, you can have. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Here's another one. It's kind of like a an open book. It's hovering over a dark background. So Canva has something called a 3D book mock-up generator. Interestingly, if you search for it in Canva, it doesn't show up. I've actually had to go to Google to search for it, and I'll show you what I mean. So I search for Canva 3D book mock-up. And you'll see one of the first results should be a Canva link. It'll say free online book mock-up generator. That's what you want. So it says uh, create a book mock-up. This is, I have a pro account by the way. And then you're presented with this. And this is, this is what you're looking for. So these are basically the templates you can use for these books or maybe some other flat object. And you can have it lying on a surface. You can have hands holding it. Um, you can have someone trying to like put it on the wall. Uh, and there's different ver variations and versions of this. Here, here's the one that I use for my, for my uh, social security book. And let's just take a look at that one. So select an image you design to use in your mockup. So select, and basically these are static images of the cover or some other part of this. Yeah, here's the cover. I'm just gonna stick it right in there. Click select, and then it kind of flows it in. And, and you can see that there's a little bit of a problem there. Um, let's just say save image, use in design. Let's just say uh, custom size. Let's just make it 2000 by 2000. So you can see it's kind of created a image, an image with the cover on it. The problem is, is that the book itself is too large. Um, and you can't also, you can't adjust the image to kind of slide up or down or to exactly fit fit the book template or reduce the, t the book template so it matches this. So you, sometimes what you need to do is you need to do some alterations of the original image or you have to look for another, another mock-up. So let's get out of that one. And actually, let's see if we can find another. Let's see, let's use this one instead. So I'm gonna select an image. Let's just do the same one, see if that fits better. Click select. And by the way, if you, if you don't have a cover image here, just click upload and upload it from your hard drive. Click select, and you can see they put it there. Now, again, the, for, the, uh, the dimensions are a little bit off, but you get the idea. You can just experiment with the different sizes until you find the one that you want or adjust your book cover in some way so it, it matches the, uh, the ratios that they're looking for. Once you're satisfied with it, then, you, then you, you could adjust the image. So for instance, I can align it to the top or I can try to fill, okay? And then you can save the mock-up. If this video helped, please take a moment to like it or subscribe. Links to my blog and contact information are in the show notes. Thank you so much for watching.